based on our analysis of the banking industry, um, this was the last of the ones that um, should face significant challenges. Shares of First Republic, the country's 14th largest commercial bank as of last year, plunging 75% last week after the bank reported customers went through more than $100 billion in deposits in the wake of the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank in March. It is difficult, nearly impossible for any bank to survive that type of deposit outflow of their core deposits. So them being closed and going into receivership last night shouldn't be viewed as a shock and awe and a surprise to the banking industry, so I'm not expecting contagion to occur. And the Treasury Department telling ABC News it is encouraged by the fact that J.P. Morgan has now bought First Republic that all depositors in this will be made whole. And that's a very important thing to remember here. Despite the fact we've seen these three major bank failures now, depositors, people with their money in bank accounts at these companies, they have all been made whole. They've all been able to access their money despite the failures of the banks themselves. Robin? That is encouraging news, Rebecca. Thank you. Now to the severe weather on the East Coast and a state of emergency in Virginia Beach after a tornado tore through that area, damaged dozens of homes. Faith Abube is on the scene for us. Good morning, Faith. Uh, good morning to you, Robin. All those are going to get filled in later on today. And then a clear coat on top of it to submerge it. Getting there.